Facebook Live, we have arrived. Apologize for the little tardy. We're a little tardy this morning. We had a heavy conversation on the line this morning. So I'm going to have to... I'm just going to have to go for it. I don't even know a scripture, but I'm just going to grab this one. It's in front of me and teach it. I hope it don't lead me into what we were just talking about. Unless the most I say I should. Anyway, here we go, y'all. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahoo the Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann, on the early what I see these through study and prayer line on his 31st day in October 2018. Hey, they call this um, Halloween. <laughs> Devil funny, huh? Nah, he ain't that funny. He's actually a little ridiculous. Uh, 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 Cole Don Dean, how you doing? Big Sean in the building, Nicole. Good morning, y'all. My nephew, I see him in the building. What's up, man? Y'all, let's dive in this word. Let, let's just, um, man, do I want to do this? No, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a go traditional again. I, I could teach this, but I'm, a, I'm just going to go when I don't know really what to teach. I just go for it. I go for it almost every time anyway, right? Let's go to St. John's 3.16. What a cop-out, right? <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it, y'all. Uh, but Okay, no, this is what I want right here. I'm going to go to 19, 3 and 19. Uh, I've taught this before. I don't teach nothing different. 3 and 19, look what it says. This is the condemnation, right? 3 and 19, y'all. This is the condemnation. That the light is coming to the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. Why don't men like light? Um, I was talking with Coles this morning. Ashley, Ash, how you doing? Still Will in the building. Um, I was talking with Coles this morning. He said something that just blessed my soul, right? He said he 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 was he was addressing like the people that um got the state of mind, it don't take all that. Right. People kinda like get complacent and they um they get comfortable in their religious position, right? So when change comes, it ruffles their feathers. And that's why a lot of people, you know, you know, reject, reject truth because they're comfortable, you know, you know, wh where they're at. Right. Um, and he was saying, that's me saying that part, but he was saying that um, the, the, it don't take all that state of mind of people. And then he turned around and said, tell uh, Yachanan that, John the Baptist, right? Tell him it don't take all that. Tell, tell Peter, tell Peter and Paul and them it don't take all that. Tell, tell the Messiah and them, let them know they were doing too much. It, it's kind of it's crazy, the state of mind of people. Always looking for a, a route out and trying to make provisions Provisions for the flesh, and it's, it's just not a good look, right? But anyway, 319. This is the condemnation that the light is coming to the world. The problem is the solution is here. The solution to the pollution is here. But men don't want it. They don't want it because they can't lay on Susie. Bill can't sleep with John. And Bill wants to sleep with John and still go to heaven. So this is the condemnation. This is the problem. This is the condemnation. That the light is coming to the world. The truth is here. The, tr the truth is here. It's on the scene, y'all. 
the Most High is here to to show you your error. In your error, you used to live, move, well, was dead. Okay, I ain't going to do that. Live, move, and have your being, per se. In, 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 in your wickedness is where you found your happiness. So the revelation of where you are, how you live, what you do, how you think, the revelation that it's evil causes you to suffer loss if you repent. Yeah. You'll suffer loss. Trenda, how you doing, sis? Donna, young lady, how you doing? You'll suffer loss, right? You'll suffer loss if, if, if I have a routine to my life prior to the most high coming into my life. I have a routine. I have a religious routine. I have my, my personal life, my bedroom activity, you know, who's in there or those people that are in there. Um, you know, you know, you know, just how I live, right? The word come in and exposes that. That's going to interrupt my whole program. The most high is an interrupter. That's going to interrupt my whole entire program. What an inconvenience. It's like moving. Don't y'all hate moving? You're in this house. You got all kind of, you got them drawers where you put everything. I don't know. I don't know if everyone, I got one. I be having like more than one where you just, it's heck of stuff in there. You know, heck of paperwork and file cabinets. And then, and then you move, break down beds. If you got those big type beds, so we just got poles and posts. No, you break stuff down, find stuff everywhere. It's hard moving. It's an inconvenience. Now, it's, if you're downsizing, <laughs> you really hate moving. Because not only is it hard work, but you're leaving a big situation into a smaller one. And that's just no fun, right? Same thing when you, when you come to the most high. You're downsizing unless where you're moving to is better than where you were living. It's still an inconvenience, but you're happy to make the move because you're relocating to somewhere you really want to be. And it's the same thing with the gospel. The Most High will come in your life and he'll rearrange everything. You're like dead. Real talk. Death, burial, resurrection. You're like dead. You died and now you got to be retaught, reprogrammed. Everyone that's offered to die to their situation, don't want to die to their situation. The Most High come in and will break you up with who you dating. Everyone don't want to break up. How you, how you breaking up with someone you love? You think it's love, it's lust. If you ain't married to them, you're using their body and their services. But how, you don't, Come on, y'all. Look, this is the condemnation. Yachanan 3 and 19, right? John 3 and 19, right? This is the condemnation that the light is coming to the world. But men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. That's the problem. The solution has come, but the inconvenience that truth brings, everyone don't want to go through that. Uncle Harry, how you doing, sir? Everyone don't want to go through the inconvenience of truth. A thin paint job of religion feels better. Having a form of yachtiness denying the power thereof feels better. Me being able to go to church, listen to some good gospel music, some good Christian music, and still sleep with who I want to sleep with, get drunk and high, live by my flesh, cuss you out if I get mad. You know, if it benefits me to, to not tell the truth, then I get to not tell the truth, but still go to church. That's more convenient. And, and, and a lot of us been doing it for so long. That's it. I don't want to hear nothing that's going to take that away from me. I'm already on my way to heaven. So you think. 
the revelation of the fact that you might not be on your way to heaven. Don't nobody want to hear that. Jesus did it all. You ain't going to take my Jesus from me. When the truth of the matter is the most high come to take sin away from you because the wages of sin is death. People seem to believe that through the gospel, the wage of sin isn't death anymore. When he's the same today, yesterday, and forevermore, the wage of sin is still death. Terry Jones, how you doing? Cassandra, bless you. Thanks for chiming in. The wage of sin is death. He's the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. And you need to know that. Could it be possible that you got a gospel in your head that you was raised on that ain't even true? Is that possible? The thought of that make you mad at me, huh? <laughs> well, a lot of lot of people get like, ooh, who he think he is? Look, nobody. Real quick, fast answer. I'm not that special. But the word is. Let's get in the word and get the truth of the word. Because uh, uh, the first thing the Mashiach said to his children is take heed that no man deceive you for many shall come in my name saying I am the anointed one I am the Christ I am the Messiah and shall deceive many you you got you got you got folks that's under the influence of religion that's going to lead to Matthews 7 and 21 I don't even know you after you go down your relig religious resume come on we got to really get this relationship look what it say this is the condemnation that the light is coming to the world and men love darkness rather than light. Why? Because their deeds are evil. See, the light is the word. And the word come into your life and it's going to correct some stuff. And it's cold when it corrects stuff that you like, that you like to do, places you like to go. It's cold when the light shines the light in your relationship with someone that you like going to bed with. You like hanging with. Come on, somebody. It's cold when the word get in your finances and you are stingy somebody. It's cold. Folks don't like that. Turn the light off. What you going in there for? Don't go in the den. What you looking up under the bed for? I let you in the room. I don't let people in my room. Now you're looking under the bed. Yeah, the word is going everywhere. The word gets in your entire life. There is no hiding place from the word. It, it's, a, it's a discerner of the tense and the, and the thoughts of the heart. The word teaches that the spirit of a man is like a candlelight on the yacht. You light a candle, it lights up the whole room. Your spirit, he can see through you. The thoughts and the intents. He know when you do good for the wrong reason. Come on, y'all. There's no, come on. He gonna go under the bed. He gonna get in your finances. He is. He gonna tell you your responsibility to the gospel. He gonna tell you if you should assemble or not. And how often. He's going to tell you who to hang with and not. He's going to tell you to come out from among them and be separate. He's going to even give you revelation on what that really means, too. He's a spirit. This is a spiritual warfare. Sometimes we unintentionally approach things from a carnal standpoint. We mean well, though, so I ain't mad at you. This is the condemnation that the light, the revelation of your lifestyle is coming to the world. He come to reveal to you, you. And where you come up short. And the believer is going to admit it and repent from it. Turn from it and going to accept the light and start changing. Yeah. Your best friend can't hang with him no more. Who want to walk away from their best friend? That's my best friend. He said, how can two walk together except they be agreed? Your best friend got a satanic uh, spirit on them, and they're full of adultery and gossip 
and crap and they they, they might be on drugs. They, they they might the most high told you not to defile your temple and you used to smoke cigarettes. Your best friend is a chain smoker and every time you get around them, not only are you breathing in secondhand smoke, but you tempted to do it too. He tell you to come out from among them and be separate. Who wants that? So the problem now becomes that there's a solution and you don't want it. And you have a reason not to want it. It ain't just, you just don't want it. Folks shy away from the most high for a reason. There's a lot of people that claim to be atheists. They do that for a reason. Because they don't want nothing over them. Man want to feel like they're superior. I'm running this. The most high is invisible. And they don't want nobody in their life trying to, some invisible deity trying to tell them what to do. Because they like doing what they're doing. So this is the condemnation that the light is coming to the world and men love darkness rather than light for a reason. Why? Because their deeds are evil. The world will show you that a lot of stuff that you're doing, you shouldn't be doing. And the world will tell you, you got to stop. Nobody want to hear that. Nobody carnal. Carnal mind is enmity. It's, 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 it's opposite. It's hostile. That's what enmity means. It's hostile against the most high. It's not subject. That means it won't bow down. It won't agree. It won't humble itself and obey. It's not subject. You know how subject he is to the king. It's not subject to the law of Yah. That thinking, he say do this, I ain't finna do that. He say leave him alone, I'm not finna leave him alone. He say be faithful, man, I got other things to do. He say give, what about me? This is the condemnation, that the light, the truth, didn't the Mashiach say, I'm the way, the truth, and the life? No man come unto the Father but by me. Sweetheart, see about him. This is the condemnation that the light, the truth, the word is coming to the world. It's here. Folks, Holland, you want the solution? Well, it's here. I didn't want all that. I just wanted him to, to, to fix my 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 marriage and my my finances and my credit. I didn't want all that. I didn't sign up for all that. That's when you become religious. I'm not gonna let him in this part of my life, but I definitely need help in this part. No, our righteousness is as filthy rags. Filthy rags are dirty tampons. Use tampons from a woman. That's what the filthy rags is. Look it up. Our righteousness now, your good deed, you mean well, all that old good stuff, right? Your charity of choice, all that old good stuff. Our righteousness, not our, 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 our scandalous attitude. I'm talking about your righteousness. When you're on your best behavior, it's like a dirty tampon. Throw the, the, throw the joker away, okay? The passing of life. It, that it, that it, that whole situation in a woman was set up to give life, and it passed its course, and so now it ain't no more good. So it come out. Our righteousness is as filthy rags. You ain't gonna good deed your way into this. The word come into your life because you was baptized into his death. So now the word, the light, get to take over your vessel. We have this treasure in earthly vessels. The treasure is the spirit of the Most High. The treasure is his word because we have been baptized into his death. And like as he was raised up by the power of the Father, even so we should walk in the newness of life. How are we going to walk in the newness of life? Because greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. You, you shall receive power after his spirit has come upon you. The Ruach comes in you to lead your life moving forward. Your evil nature got to say so. Tell him to shut up. Because your say so lusts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. These are contrary one to another. You can't do what you want to do and serve him. So the condemnation, right? The condemnation, being condemned. You want to know what that looked like? Look like me. It looked like you. Your opinion, there's a way to seem right onto a man, but the end of it, the ways of death. 
We got to bow down to truth. We got to bow down to the word. This is the condemnation. That the light is coming to the world. The word came and was made flesh. The word came. The flesh was temporary, so it died on the tree and got up out of here. The word came back and it will abide forevermore. The light is coming to the world. But men love darkness rather than light. They love what they were doing. And, and, and the word is a separator because people, look, a wicked person in church is a, a, a double wicked person. Kimyana, how you doing? A, a wicked, a wicked person that go to church is still a wicked person. They're just religious. Now they're deceitful, like a wolf in sheep's clothing. You get an a, a outer appearance of knowing the most high, but you cuss, you lie, you're deceitful, you freaky, you two-faced it, you, 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 you mean, you're rude, you're scandalous. Tell the truth. Church don't... Ch church... Camp dwelling and church going don't do nothing but make you a religious, disobedient, unless you lit look. You can't be walking in sin and think you good because you're in church. Are you kidding me? Are you fooling yourself? This is the condemnation. The condemnation is justified even the more, isn't it? Look at the full circle. Son, I'm teaching. <laughs> anyway. This is the condemnation, right? That the light is coming to the world. But men, but men love darkness rather than light. The condemnation is more justified because the solution is here. See, he didn't leave us toe up. He could have left us by right. But he came with the solution. And those that belong to him is, a, uh, is attracted to the solution. Those that ignore the word, continue to live in sin, they're doing it on purpose. Anytime I see any of my loved ones or anyone that I was raised up in ministry with, right, they already know. Anyone that was here and backslid and doing their own thing, right, it's, it's, it's understood that the solution is here and they walked away. Now, some of them is to see, son, come on, quick, 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 quick going over there. <laughs> the, 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 there's an understanding, an unspoken understanding. Even the people that like left like more revelation of truth to go back into Catholicism, the Catholicized religious position, because in that setting, you get to still cuss smoke cigarettes, lie, get drunk, and fornicate and commit adultery in that setting, right? When you're in a setting where truth is, all that stuff is not permissible. See, we don't have fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. We reprove them, right? And so there's an unspoken understanding that what the condemnation is. We don't have to talk about it. The condemnation is you know the truth. You knew the word, and you walked away. Religion fits you better because you get to do you. And you get to be a celebrity musician or a singer or something, right? You get to, you know, you want to say you're using your gift for the most high, but you like that stage, baby girl, baby boy. And when you sit up on the truth, it's going to go in your bedroom and you don't want nobody in your bedroom. You don't want nobody, you, you don't want the most high to tell you, that the, that the word can bring some friction in your marriage. You don't want to hear that. Some folks want their spouse over anything or anybody. And if the truth come and tell you, you you can't obey your husband when it comes to him leading you against the word. You're supposed to obey your husband, but not if he's leading you against the most high. And they for no, well, if I don't obey my husband in this, it's going to cause problems in the marriage. You got folks who forget that. I got a good man. I'm keeping my man. I'm keeping my woman. I don't want to. Uh-uh. If she say no, the answer. 
I got to, you know, bring my baby back. This is the condemnation, right? There's a condemnation that's understood, unspoken, but it's understood. That the truth is here, but but I'd rather darker. The word is called it darkness. Well, let's change the word from darkness so you can get a better understanding. My way. People would rather do it their way. Why? Because their way is evil. Their lifestyle is evil. The word is challenging what I like to do. And I'm going to continue to do what I want to do. I care what you say. In fact, I'd rather blame it on you, preacher. You saying that. That ain't Yah. What the word is saying. This is the condemnation, right? The problem is that the solution is here. The solution to, to the pollution is here. But men and women don't like it because it goes against what they want to do. <laughs> That's the problem. I chime in and listen to you, but you try not you try to mess up my relationship. If the word is coming against your relationship, then your relationship is evil. If the word is getting in your finances and you want to tell me to preach preach the word to say stay off finances? I don't know. But if that's what it is. I'm going to preach on finance. Because <laughs> your deeds is evil. You, you, don't, you don't want the word in your purse. You don't want the word in your wallet. You don't want the word in your, your bedroom. You, you don't want the word in your, in your attitude. You don't want to. You're a liar, so you don't want the word in that area. Make a living lying. I don't, I don't, I'm a lawyer. <laughs> I don't need you coming with all that. This is the condemnation. You know what the problem is? The condemnation is I offered you the solution and you didn't want it, so you're going to be without excuse. Solution been here. Do you want it? I will admit that it's easier to be a part of a ministry that name it and claim it and preach pro prosperity and one save, always save. Talk about eschatology and a bunch of uh, 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 carnal religious wisdom. Carnal religious. Is that an oxymoron? Nope. Well, yeah, but people do it all the time. Carnal religious wisdom. It's easier. Much easier to listen to what the Most High got me talking about. <laughs> so I get it. At least we know now what the condemnation is. The condemnation is there is a solution to the problem. And anytime there's a solution, we can blame the Most High if there wasn't a solution. That wouldn't stick anyway. But we could blame the most high if it wasn't a solution. But there is a solution to the pollution. There's a solution. Do you want it? Because if you don't, it's because you live in evil. Huh? He ain't never right. Let's live right, y'all. There's therefore now no condemnation to them that are in the Messiah who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. Let's be those that don't walk after the flesh. Our way. You don't want to do that. It's all kind of stuff we all be doing, I know, if it wasn't for the most high. And none of it would be cool, but pretty doggone fun and rewarding, huh? 
This is the condemnation. That the light is coming to the world, but men love darkness rather than light because their deeds is evil. Let's change our deeds and let's obey the Most High. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity coming for you. How many of you know how to glean in your word in the revelation and the sharing of truth? We pray that the word fall down in the souls of your children, springing up an everlasting life. And we'll govern ourselves accordingly until you come get us. And we celebrate the victory in you. In the master's name of Yahushua HaMashiach, we only pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And amen. That was a, the little short sermon that we pray that the word found you and blessed you. Just continuously, uh, you know, encouraging you, you know, in him. Y'all continue to uh, pray for me as I pray for you. I'll be Baruch and Brock and Shalom. Oh, let me go here. If the lesson was good, push the share button because it could be good to somebody else as well. If you are part of this ministry, you should support. And if you're not, and if you enjoy this ministry and you want to support it, all you got to do is go to PayPal, put in DerekMan5857 at Yahoo.com. That's D-E-R-R-I-C-K-M-A-N-N 5857 at Yahoo.com. Curtis Jeremy, what's up, man? Long time, man. We, we need to catch up. You're always doing something fun. And uh, we're on the conference line, y'all, at 302-202-1102, extension 815648. Again, 302-202-1102, extension 815648. Love you all. Continue to pray for me as I pray for you. Uh, Brenda, bless you. Thanks for chiming in. So so we out of here like last year. If y'all didn't get a chance to hear the whole lesson, y'all can go back and uh, you get to meet my son because he was walking in the screen. Um, love y'all. Y'all be Baruch and Shalom. I'm gone.